The passive intellect Latin, intellectus possibilis, also translated as potential intellect or material intellect, is a term used in philosophy alongside the notion of the active intellect in order to give an account of the operation of the intellect nous, in accordance with the theory of hylomorphism, as most famously put forward by Aristotle. Aristotle's conception Aristotle gives his most substantial account of the passive intellect nous patheticos in De Anima on the Soul, Book 3, Chapter 4. In Aristotle's philosophy of mind, the passive intellect is what it is by becoming all things. By this Aristotle means that the passive intellect can potentially become anything by receiving that thing's intelligible form. The active intellect poeticos is then required to illuminate the passive intellect to make the potential knowledge into knowledge in act, in the same way that light makes potential colors into actual colors. The analysis of this distinction is very brief, which has led to dispute as to what it means. Topic. Interpretations Greek thought While Greek commentators such as Alexander of Aphrodisias and Themistius were broadly silent on the active intellect debate over this would only become heated in the 13th century Christian West in the context of debates over whether Avicenna or Averroes provided the account of the working of the intellect that best cohered with Christian doctrine, they provided a great deal of commentary on the nature of the passive intellect. For Alexander of Aphrodisias, for instance, who coined the term of the material intellect for this power, a name later taken up by Averroes, the passive intellect was a separate intellect from the active. Averroes and Aquinas, later philosophers, including Averroes and Saint Thomas Aquinas, proposed mutually exclusive interpretations of Aristotle's distinction between the active and passive intellect. Other terms used are material intellect and potential intellect the point being that the active intellect works on the passive intellect to produce knowledge acquired intellect in the same way that actuality works on potentiality or form on matter averroes held that the passive intellect being analogous to unformed matter is a single substance common to all minds and that the differences between individual minds are rooted in their phantasms as the product of the differences in the history of their sense perceptions Aquinas argues against this position in the disputed questions on the soul questiones disputate de anima, and asserts that while the passive intellect is one specifically, numerically it is many, as each individual person has their own passive intellect. <laughs> passive intellect in Islamic philosophy Passive intellect is identical with Aql bil Qwa in Islamic philosophy. Aql by al Qwa, defined as reason, could abstract the forms of entities with which it is finally identified. For Farabi, the potential intellect becomes actual by receiving the form of matter. In other words, Aql Haleni tries to separate the forms of existence from their matter. The form become identical with AQL. Farabi also recognized the potential intellect as part of soul. <laughs> <laughs> 